I had to find a job. And I was always interested in photography. So I started actually, you know, ground level in photography. I couldn't go on to a university or, or so. And that's how I got into photography. But I always enjoyed it. I've, I've never uh, in my life not enjoyed photography. I came over on an, on an exchange and with Carol and, and you know, with no strings attached just for a summer. And I met Paul and uh, he promised me a job here. And of course, being a total European greenhorn, I thought, well, if somebody offers you a job, that's like a contract, you know. So I broke all my bridges over in Austria bundled up all the stuff, came over here and <laughs> knocked on the door and said, here I am. Rudy's got an interesting background. Um, he comes from Europe, um, Salzburg, Austria. And the European system essentially is a guild system. And uh, the guild system as a photographer meant that you actually had to apprentice for like four years. Then you were a journeyman. Ultimately, uh, with testing and experience, years of experience, you became what they call master. And Rudy actually had achieved a master uh, ranking in the guild system in photography in uh, Austria prior to moving uh, to the United States. He met his wife and moved to the United States. Um, interestingly enough, the United States educational system does not recognize the guild system. And so Rudy had to start all over, essentially went to undergraduate and graduate um, uh, school here at MSU. Um, initially, I think his undergraduate degree in photography, his graduate degree in, in philosophy and literature. Rudy's more than just a photographer. And I think there's a lot of of pressure now, certainly in the, in the commercial and, and professional world, to to really focus everything on your your career, your profession, or your in this case, uh, you know your the, your skills in photography. And uh, Rudy was an educator. Uh, he was also a philosopher. Uh, he was a musician. Um, the, the word Renaissance man gets thrown around a lot these days uh, and oftentimes I don't think it's really all that applicable. But I do think Rudy is a prime example, uh, at least in my mind, of what we mean by someone who, whose view of the world really is, is, is very broad and his fascination and knowledge of the world is actually quite broad. Love of music, uh, love of literature, love of art, uh, all combine with his uh, knowledge of photography to create work that in, in many ways I think is autobiographical in, the, in that uh, most of Rudy's work, uh, I haven't seen his most recent work, uh, really reflects his personal surroundings, his life, and what's important to him. And so one of the things that I remember as a student um, that I gained, I think, from Rudy's influ uh, uh, through Rudy's influence was an awareness of seeing uh, in everyday life, uh, seeing visual possibilities in very common surroundings. Um, I think a lot of photographers think you need to go to exotic locations and go to places that are unusual or don't get photographed in order to find successful photographs. And Rudy's uh, influence there really has been uh, an awareness really of his surroundings uh, in a very kind of zen, um, um, he actually had us read Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance and Zen of the Art of Archery actually I think for his zone system class. And so he's interested in really training his students to, to see in, and then combine that with the technical knowledge that he um, would, uh, would give them through his teaching. I think uh, sometimes one gets so hung up on oneself that you try to create something uh, and your mind and your heart are uh, not really connected or your mind is so connected with concepts but not really with, you know, see deeper issues or, or something that really comes from the heart. I think creativity, even in advertising, so good stuff uh, comes from the heart. And that's what you tr have, try to uh, connect up and, and also have heart in what you do, even if it's a digital camera, it's not as easy, or a computer. Do it with your heart.